episode number 61 of the Optic, the Optic Podcast. Podcast. Brought, brought to you this by, week by AirPods. Dunkin' Donuts. Supreme AirPods. Maybe just got his matte black AirPods and they look fire. Yeah. I hung out with my bestie this weekend. Did you? Here in, in Dallas? A little maybe poo down in Dallas. Ah. Uh. Fun. Got, didn't get an invite. Oh, yeah. my, I was I was away. I was in a nope. bachelor party. No one was getting invites. You know, I need to hang out with just me and my Jack old roommates. Jack went out three times this weekend. I didn't get any invites. You got invited, actually. Did I? Yeah. By how? Did but I? how? I did, I one hundred percent invited you to the. To the I went out check, twice. Check I, your uh, check your check your uh, text. See if you invited me. I did. I'll give you one hundred and fifty dollars right now on the spot if you invite whoa, me. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I kind of want to. I went up to Sam and I said, "Where's Davis?" And she, and she said, oh, "I told him to come out, but he's streaming." So then I sent. Hitch a picture of me saying, where are you? And he said, streaming. I this said, was at oh, uh, 1.30 a.m. It was at, after oh. they, had, it was after at they 11, had fun. It was after at they a, had been out. It was at 11.30, and we were after they had out, been out for 15 for two, minutes. So they literally. You already. Nope. This is how he sent the picture. Yeah, because I was, I, was, I was sitting like this, wait, waiting for the Uber. Oh, so you were already on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> and the US, yes, I was on the way home. Yeah. And you know, like, I don't need this defamation, okay? I'm just saying. This is don't I'm lie. Just don't lie to the people. Don't lie to the people, Jeff. This That's is like libel. A surefire way to get more famous. <laughs> Ooh, actually. So what are we doing? These are facts, B. I'm so happy they fixed this mic. They, I think they like custom slanted it for me to. So you could be laid back. back. Cool. Yeah. Nick, congrats on the kill record, dude. Hey, thanks, Hell man. Yeah. Oh shit! Five, ten seconds into Dude. this podcast, in Fortnite, <laughs> I'm Fortnite up right away. crashes the door. Oh well, we no! The, I heard it got broke. Are we the best Fortnite podcast out there right now? Probably we should just rebrand it to it. We probably should. We'll get more views. Yeah, I want to rebrand it. I want to rebrand the Fortnite podcast. We should make. Can we do a podcast for you? Well, didn't you? Weren't you going to do a podcast with? You if if you should get <laughs> together <You're> with. <laughs> yeah, you should get together with 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 Ninja, uh, Doctor Lupo. Tim the Tatman has to be in there because of his voice. That's you know it. what? Just Those don't four. even be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, throw Marcel in there. They got their squad of four. The record was broke, though. So. The record was broken <laughs> by you or like, your record? No, wait, your, your 55 was broken again? Yeah. Someone, well, someone got, you know how we killed each other at yeah. the end? Uh, well, someone apparently got 55 by not killing each other. But none of us were recording. Uh, yeah, none of them were recording. It doesn't count. Well, it doesn't so count. Fake if ass. Uh, if it's not a, if it's if it's not on the I dazzle. Find, but I, I don't want to say that because then I'm that You're implements. I said that they were cheating, True. and then Maniac said they were cheating, and then all of my fans are gonna go attack him, and it's gonna be because of me. <laughs> I don't. Hex probably has no idea what I'm talking about. Jack might not either, but I'm the, the most hated Fortnite person right now. Are really? you really? Uh, Tell him, please. No, but yes. No shot. You're more hated than Drop Bodies right now. Who's Wait, Drop why? Bodies? He's the guy that won the summer skirmish last week. He's the guy that won the summer skirmish. Well, the keyboard guy on a PS4 that ended up not being a keyboard exactly. on a PS4. Yeah. Question mark. But I said there's a there's someone using a keyboard on PS4 just because I, me like everyone else found out on Twitter, found out through friends that someone's yeah. using a it's keyboard. A com- it's a conversational. Yeah. Topic, so topic. I conversationally tweet it. Yeah. And uh, people, Wait. but then, but what? then, it, Epic comes out and say, that's <laughs> "Controversial." That's the word we're trying to say, right? Whatever. I mean, conversational topic. Yeah, I mean, I think he was. Okay. No, like I, okay, I say so it like I was just I just tweeted chatting. it, just yeah. like were, chatting, oh, not yeah. trying to like. I thought he was saying it's a controversial topic, which okay, both apply. No, he was. It was a topic of conversation, which is why everybody was involved. But I like what you said on Twitter, which was, "How crazy is it that?" Yeah, it's just I was I was like, like listening to everyone or, or like watching everyone tweet i was like i, I haven't like seen any and I, I said it on my stream i was like i think people are just pissed their their favorite streamer didn't win because obviously this guy had two insane games at the very beginning but besides that it was like he dropped two 20 bombs back to back which crazy shit happens all the time i thought he got like three within his 10 games or something i don't know and before this those was, 10 games his highest kill was like, 16 yeah like, yeah yeah that was that it was it that that was it. It was it was literally a perfect storm of of things. And it and it wasn't that he was up by like ten, like he was up by forty on second. Like he was by game two, he was up by forty, and by the end of it all, even after he cooled down, he won. That's how ridiculous his start was to yeah. the tournament. And so people and, and people were saying, Well, he's keyboarding and I was like I was like, Well, you don't have any proof that this dude's keyboarding Except for the fact that he had an insane two game, first two games, and this was that this was how like 
soon it was that I started talking about it. So I, I hadn't like known all of the, like I hadn't known like his history. Like people literally researched this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and, and so, th- and then Epic said that they don't care if you keyboard and mouse in their tournaments. Yeah. Which, I disagree. That's which that that has become like a huge topic. That's what I I tweeted that, and I got so much hate for it because I was like, "There's a person using uh, keyboard and mouse because everyone was was saying, was saying yeah. it." So I just assume, and it's allowed, so it's like, why wouldn't I believe yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I found that out, and then I was like, "But the worst part about it is that it's allowed." Yeah. Yeah, and but people just cared about the fact that I said he was using a keyboard without and, knowing. But then Epic came out and said there's no evidence. He so was then using they, get, okay. yeah, there's not. He, so you said a pre pre announcement or pre uh whatever. Yeah. So then Epic tweet or then everyone was like, well, he's just letting people join their games, and I was like, well, if he's letting people join their games and he's killing people every game, I'm sure Epic's gonna be able to see that and they'll yeah. DQ him. So th- I was just coming at it from that perspective. It was like. Stop freaking out. Like, if he's doing something wrong, Epic owns the game. They mm-hmm. run the game. They're going to be able to see if he's doing anything wrong. Yeah. And sure enough, the dude wasn't keyboarding. He killed everyone unique. He didn't kill anyone that was a brand new, you know, mm-hmm. he, that was a brand new, like, created account. Yeah. Like, he did it legit. Was, so, is there any footage just, of this? There's no way that somebody in this well, day and age plays. That's why I said I, want, I said I want to watch the gameplay because that's, like, kind of that's crazy those games are crazy to like even do absolutely yeah. so it's like i want to watch like why has is it like not on youtube he, or, like, he, anything? he streamed his his replays yeah. when it was all said and done to, uh, like when i t- i clicked onto his stream for a second and it, like fourteen thousand viewers and i mean the chat was just an absolute shit show yeah i just want to watch just to, just on him just murdering him. just just between like his friends who are mods already being like love mao oh, oh, and then he, him trying to pull up centrus each when he bought like a um, not as good controller. <laughs> I can save. People, um, pe- people are like, PC players are just mad a PS4 player won. I'm like, like, no. no. <laughs> That's not it at all. has nothing to do with that. I, if I, anything, I expect, I thought Nick Merckx was going to win yeah, because yeah. of PS4. Dude, his run was insane. Yeah. I watched his stream the whole time. Well, and yours was up too. <sighs> good job. Good save. Right back at you. Are you right over there, Hector? Let's fucking yes. Now I am. So you know your chair is like that again. Could it cross back? My, there we go. That's what it was. Thanks, Nick. I'm like, <laughs> why aren't I? Com- why am I not comfortable? Uh, but but it is crazy how quickly a simple statement on Twitter can go viral and make and become reality. How did it go viral though? Like how did? Everybody- well, he won, and everybody was talking about it. But I thought I think one streamer started it. Dude, my remember. Twitter, I couldn't. I still kind of can't For like real. so much just hate but I feel people like hating people, on me hate, because hate, I hate. tweeted that. Well, you didn't, you tweeted that. Well, well, yours was more geared to like whether it should be allowed or not. Right. Yeah. Cause some and, people, I think like one of the phase members, like, I don't know who it was, but they just tweeted keyboard on console question mark, LOL. And I was like, dude, that's the one. When I saw that tweet, I was just like, now these are like big time people just like spreading this rumor and regardless i guess if you're keyboarding on console i don't think that should be allowed I agreed think that's unanimous and i also think that the ps4 players well first of all if the guy is playing in the tournament you i think you should be able you have to meet the requirements that you have to be able to stream with a five minute delay yeah and that's why he didn't stream because he streams straight off his console and there's no like delay require or uh, option. But uh, what I'm saying though is that in this day and age, I find it almost impossible to believe that anybody that is in this scene doesn't record or stream their content. If you are listening to this podcast, it means that you're part of the scene, and more than likely you play video games. Why aren't you recording your footage? Especially period. like stuff you know. Get paid. Like the like the people that just um apparently beat our record or tied it, but they did it legitly. It's like obviously you guys are going in trying to like beat it. Like they I'm I'm assuming they went they went in, dropped different places and you're going for a high kill. It's like why you know you have an objective during this stuff. Why are you not recording it? Yeah. Like sometimes I'll be playing and I'm not recording and like something crazy will happen. And be like, sucks. It 
I wasn't recording, but it's like if you're playing and you have an objective, why are you not yeah, recording? There's no, yeah, yeah. It, it, okay, so bottom line, if it's not recorded, it didn't happen. That's video game law is since, it, since is Call of Duty Two. Yeah, you know who's actually done a really good job? Uh, that 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 kid that won that Friday Fortnite the one week when he was supposed to be paired with uh, Deji Mongrel. Yeah, from Secret. Yeah, when those guys won, it was that whole drama thing. Like he went into it represented himself well enough you know obviously with secret getting all their bs and stuff like that yeah he now has you know twelve thousand something twitter followers uploads clips of his top stuff that start to trend because he's like one of the craziest builders i've seen yeah plays at a ridiculously fast pace um he's now got like one hundred and twenty thousand youtube subs because literally he's just uploaded from once he got that little bit of an opportunity like yeah. kick yeah He's, he, he, as you mentioned, like always be recording and, and, and kind of going from there. He's got like a keyboard camera now and, and a mouse camera. He builds with his entire mouse. So basically, from what I was seeing, when he does like his like double like wall ramp push crazy thing, his thumb on his mouse is like this. It's just like he like pushes it in this one direction and it like does every button. Like he what hits each fuck? button that he needs to like with the different edges of his Finger. Yeah, it's like when I used to jump through uh, through windows in Call of Duty, and I went from A to B, <coughs> jump that's, crouch. That's probably window. nothing. That is nothing actually. Like that. <laughs> Dude, there's there's something about my pointer finger on <laughs> <laughs> on keyboards. Like, Please finish. This shit d- will miss the key that I want to hit. Like I don't know how I can't just hit F. At, like I'm hitting every so many. I call it, it fat fingering. Whenever it, I hit hit the wrong key. It wasn't until last week. That I finally changed my inventory to not be I. What? Okay. That sounds like the worst thing ever. What? Because I would be like this. I'd be like, Shouldn't uh, it be tab? Hold on. I would look down. I would completely take both oh my eyes off the screen. And I'd be like, and then I'd be like, all right, let me drop X half. Okay, there. Let's go. Right? And I'm like, I, I, I can't do that. And then, you know, training my. I thought it was oh, just tab. No, it like, starts as I. Because yeah. I, I recently Are plugged you... in my PS4. My. my Key, mouse and keyboard to PS4, and I forgot that the the you did what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Uh, I, think, I, I think the tab stuff comes a little bit from H1 too. Yeah. Because I I, I I I remember playing H1 and running over the bags and looting. Heck, just gone. <laughs> you, you, you did what? <laughs> I didn't. I, the, the thing is, is, I didn't even catch your your like your face expressions when you said that so i was like i don't know if it was like wait does, does it work really good? meant the but no. the it, well yeah i heard it feels terrible yeah it doesn't feel good. well it probably feels good if you've never played fortnite on pc before yeah but it's literally like a like a little bit of input lag and you know obviously 60 frames so it just feels so totally different but would you use that over a controller probably yeah I'm sure if you practice with it a lot, it's. Yeah, I'm sure after. You, yeah. I don't think P PS4 and PC should be like, in the same kind of tournaments. Okay, yeah, well but- let's 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 go down the line. And let's move on. Okay, I don't even know what we're gonna move on to, but. I'll start. I personally don't believe that it should be like I understand that the cross-platform stuff is going on and all that, but if you're creating a PlayStation-only tournament, it should be played with a native control unit that you would use. Uh, PC should be played with that. What are you going to do when it comes to mobile? You know, are you going to be... Because there is a, a, a way for you to plug oh, in dude, your if controller. If I was in Friday Fortnite, or if I was in the skirmish, if I got invited to the skirmish, I would 100% play on the Switch next week. Without a doubt. Hmm. I would play on the Switch. I don't know what this week's skirmish is going to be. Why? Because the people that play on the Switch are terrible. Uh, so you only match Switch players? Only Switch players. Yeah. But did you, but but you know you can so on mobile you can still plug in a controller to it. Did you know that? Uh, what's yeah, my, my boy I, I, Master I, of I from the UK has like has a video where where it shows. It. Anyway, so personally, there. if you play on PS, PS4, play with the controller. If you play on PC, play with the keyboard and mouse. If you play on whatever whatever native control unit you use or device for that specific console slash tournament, that's what you should use. Or, what do you think? Uh, I agree. PS4 controller nothing else <laughs> a scuff you can t- you can have a scuff yeah. <laughs> well i think i think that these Use tur- code hacks. i think these tournaments need the same pool of players too so like if you're if you're, 
I will say I don't think I don't I don't think PS4 players should be in the same like like for the solo skirmish or whatever. Yeah. Like Well, I think they should n- like no offense, but like there should be different leagues. PS4 well, players think, are a lot is, worse. I think they said that I think they said that there was 9 20 bombs and four four I think or five came from PS4. Yeah. Which was like, if you looked at the whole slot of NA players, there was like, like Tifu Ninja, like, but but not even that. There was like, not like like five of the ninety four players were on PC, but four of the nine twenty bombs came from. Yeah, it's like obvious. What do you think? Stop arguing it. I I, I, I I've talked so much about this on my stream, but okay. I, I I well no oh. nobody watches your stream. What? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Uh, he's sassy. Jack, right? Oh me? Oh. I was being joke. Uh, <laughs> I was, joke. I, well, you have to be mad. Uh, I think that I think that if you do a solo skirmish like that, there should be a console one, so you yes. can play on either Xbox or PS4. Yeah, they they have theirs. Then mm-hmm. there's a PC one where you play on the, on the PC stuff. Mm-hmm. And, the, and the people that play Xbox or PS4 can play in the PC one. They just have they can just plug their controllers into PC lobby. That's what I also agree with. Also, I feel like if you pl- if you plug in your keyboard and mouse to a PS4, it should it should say. You are now being switched across platform to PC, and now you just face PC lobbies. May I say something, an unpopular opinion, perhaps? But you know what pissed me off and got well, it didn't piss me off, but it annoyed me a little bit. How many people were upset at at Epic for spending so much money on tournaments while they're trying stuff out? Like it's not your fucking money, dude. You know what oh I'm saying? Like all God. these esports elitists were like. Pissing me. No, it's so easy. It's so easy to tell when people have like a, like a, a, a point that they're trying to get across because they feel like they deserve more. You know what I mean? Like these people would be like, these people would be like, you know, oh my god, like, you know, I know so many people that are so much better and they should be in these tournaments. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? Like there are no ter- like these tournaments aren't anything. They're like, exhibition. They're, they're like Fun. Yeah. pro, ga- pro they're like pro bowls. Like there's not even any competition to it. Like, and everyone that plays in them knows it, you know, it's, it's all RNG based. It's all, you're, you're killing people. Like the only real tournament was a two V two tournament where they all played against each other and it was super laggy uh, and it was unplayable pretty much. Right. So, so <laughs> they canceled up to four for a reason. <laughs> yeah. So, the, that was them trying to make an actual competition. It didn't work. Luckily, they didn't have like qualifiers for that where anybody could play in it because if anybody had, you know, if somebody qualified for it and then it was laggy and, and unplayable, then, then like they failed, basically. And I will say this, uh, uh, and I'm not criticizing anyone. Everybody that played is way better than me. Uh, and, and I am not in any way saying that it should be done a certain way. But it was a little bit campy, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how which one? The, the first one. I the can't first even one. watch. Oh, the first Holy one was pro definitely. Scrims, I don't watch. Any of I don't. That. I don't watch. I mean, I don't watch any pro. I barely watch any pro battle royale. I watch Friday Fortnite or I watch yeah. the summer skirmish because the top streamers are in it and there's a good story to tell. Period. This there in there is representation of non streamers or but, non big but, names in these tournaments because guess what? They placed well in this in the showdown. Yeah. In in the online limited time mode. Yeah. The Bartonologist. Member of the Courageous, a great stream viewer in yeah. D- Diesel yeah, Stream, went to Optic Arena. He won yeah. one of the things at Optic Arena, yeah. won like, uh, like sixteen thousand dollars or whatever for himself. Yeah, in, Bar- in, Barnes Barnes the man, by the way. Yeah, but but I agree with you in in, in the sense that there's a good storyline to tell there, and this has been going on from the beginning of time. And if you are a Call of Duty spectator or, or person that's been in the Call of Duty community for longer than five years, you should be very 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 used to it and you should not get upset or or throw a fit because better people that are not a part of that if if think about it just doesn't make sense that that you would get that upset there there are people that i do wish i'm not whenever i was tweeting that because i was just seeing everyone bitch like just why why am i not in it why am i not in it and it's just like why like give me a reason you would be in it and the only person that or not the only person but i do wish there were people that were invited like baldy should have definitely been in that tournament nick should have been in that tournament well i don't think nick tried to get in the tournament the thing right, is it's one? like i i it, solo skirmish because baldy holds the wasn't solo there record. like multiple weeks of it 
No, there's well, there's multiple weeks of the skirmish, but I think they change up the competition every week. Well, there, there, there's eight weeks of it, but they also don't guarantee invites to each week. Yada yada. Like I wasn't invited f- for this week. Think so that's about why I'm going to cast. Think about a place in which a streamer like Ninja, right, works his ass off to gain an audience and puts himself in the most, like specifically goes out to get highlight clips to make the you know to make his his brand more, more of that right. So he's building an audience. Picture a world where he built this massive audience, and you know, thanks to in part little or big to him and and his ability, he made Fortnite. He did his part in making Fortnite popular. Right, he's the he's the highest viewed streamer out there. Think about Fortnite as a game, and think about him. Imagine a place where he doesn't get invited because he's not considered a pro player, and then you have nothing but pro players, and then they have like the best, literal best ever, who have zero audience. I'm not saying that they don't. I'm just speaking in hypotheticals here, and in broad thoughts here. It's not fair to the people that that have put in the work to do that. Yeah. Period. And, it, and it, there's no, there's literally no reason for Epic to invite like the best players if they don't have any audience like there what would there be they'd be going from tournaments that have millions of viewers to tournaments that nobody's watching i say this in private all the time <laughs> okay but i'm about to fucking drop it up if you win a championship let me rephrase that if a tree falls in the middle of a forest okay and nobody is there to watch you win the championship. <laughs> did you win a championship? <laughs> like you fucking did it. Okay. Period. I just, I just, I got really like, I was puzzled by it. I, I was even puzzled when the whole um, team secret thing was going on where they were like literally saying, well, we have like real professionals and fuck. Like, well, that wasn't the player saying. That. I know. Secret, the team. I, yeah. I was, I was very, uh, uh, I they re- left secret, right? Your friends with them, right? The mom guy? <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't matter. But the fact that this, that the, the, even this organization, okay, had had, it's just petty almost that there's like, well, we care about competition Dude, above oh, anything else, and it fucking you, tilts me. Man. Look, I, I'm very biased because I've I've literally built Optic on on a hybrid approach to content creation, right? Instead of, you know, you, you know the story. So I, I'm a little bit biased in that in that regard, but it's a proven model. It works, and it it, it works in many industries. Would, yeah, like where would Call of com- Duty competitive COD be without that? Where would it? Where would we if if, the, if Nate Shot never? That's what I'm saying. Like, what did what he would did? Black Ops Two even have blown up? Would would ghosts? What if have, the punch never happened? Yeah, what punch? What, it wasn't a punch. punch. What would happen to Fortnite if Ninja punch. left? It would still survive. What would happen? What would happen to Ninja? Yeah, if he left Fortnite, Ninja would be fine. People, I just people I, that I, say that like this is the, the this is what my question. That there would be a sub. I think I think the Ninja, ninja would be a drop off. Yeah, the, sure. the Ninja Fortnite scenario is, is is it was such a perfect marriage, and it came at the right time that I, I don't know. It's it's I, I, I like that romance in my in, you know as, well, a, ninja, as a spectator. Ninja's still gonna. I I'm glad that Ninja plays other games because mm-hmm. like Ninja played. Uh, Realm Royale, uh, Ninja played. What's that? What was that goofy ass BR? Oh, the money one. Yeah, that doc. Uh, uh, Radical, uh, Radical Heights. Heights. Yeah, Ninja yeah. played that on stream. So Ninja plays other games, and he's talked about how he's gonna play Blackout whenever it comes mm-hmm. out. So, you know, I, I'm glad that he plays other. So, other so stuff. am I. But I'm just saying, like, it's that. It, anyway, let's 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 move on. Too much Fortnite. God yeah, damn it. Whatever. But, I, mean, I I don't care if people get mad about it. Yeah. You know, to be so. fair, like all we talked, uh, the the most. Like the most the most thing to talk about within gaming this week has been that controversy. What do you want me to talk about, huh? Let's talk about there. Let's talk about Fousey Tube and because every day all I do is this. It's crazy, right? I I don't really know what happened with that. Can can you give give a quick rundown? Let me let me let me set it up. I'm gonna butcher a little bit of this, but Fousey Tube has always been an interesting character in the space. Um, I think it's it's pretty widely known that he has uh, bipolar and. Uh, something else um, but you know he was apparently he was in Australia on a, on a tour thing and and at one of his meetups there was like 370 people there when instead it used of to be 3,000 few thousand when he was you know in his peak of his stuff and this sparked him to have a kind of real realization that he he's got a greater something that needs to happen it also lined up to when he self admittedly has got off his meds for his stuff with his that he's got bipolar and stuff 
and he like stra- put himself in a hotel, stayed there, kind of isolated himself because he needed just his own energy, and then realized that a week later he was going to put on the biggest concert and one of the biggest concerts in history in Los Angeles with all the biggest names performing. LeBron James was going to be there. Drake was going to be there. They were going to have sold out. J. Cole. Everything. Uh, and then that event came seven days later, and obviously no big performers showed up. He made up this whole thing that if that Drake was going to be there, if the live stream got 2 million live viewers, I think it peaked at like 20,000 on his like channel with 10 million subs. Um, he put like Drake in the thumbnails of it, said he met him, yada, yada, all the stuff started going crazy, like talking all the stuff on social media. Next thing you know, the event day comes all these free tickets that they sold out or whatever. There was like 1300 people there, 1500 people. Then there was a bomb threat. So they had, I can't bring the whole thing outside. He then got on top of a car with people crowded around him and just started preaching and sounded crazy. He looks at the key starting the, in the middle, <laughs> He looks like Keemstar in the middle of the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and, Ke- and, and by the way, it's so g- all right. So look, it, every, uh, look, even even friends of mine may not necessarily, you know, whatever. I I I, I laugh. You know, when I laugh. I like I like that character out there in the in in, in the Star- internet space. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I laugh at. It, the funniest part of it was that you could t- – so Keem says he pulls a lot of inspiration from that documentary, from the Tanacon documentary by yeah. Shane Dawson, which was incredible to watch as well. And you could tell how much Keem did that, and he, and he admits it. The best part of the whole documentary is on the end of episode one. They get into their Rolls Royce to go to the venue for the Who's thing. Rolls Royce? Whatever Re- Rolls Royce it was. Okay. I don't know whose yeah, it yeah. was. But they get in the Rolls Royce, and Keem's in the back seat, and he's getting filmed by his camera. And he's like, no one really knows what's going on with, uh, with July 15th. It's pretty crazy. And he like sits for over a second, goes to put on his, uh, he like takes his sunglasses out. He's like, and he's trying to make it seem like natural. Like he's in conversation. He's like, you know, July 15th seems like a lot of clickbait. And he like puts on his sunglasses and looks out the window and he goes, and I'm clicking. And that's how episode <laughs> one ends. <laughs> And it's like the most like you're like God damn it, Keem. Yeah. Like you can tell he he when he thought of this documentary, he's like, this is the line that I'm gonna use. Yeah, he's like, bro, there's he, a lot of clickbait. There's a lot of clickbait. I don't care. And I'm clicking. I don't care who so says. Good. I don't care who says what, man. I like that he's out in the internet as a character out there. Um. Anyway, so he's he's in the middle of the crowd and then fucking Fousey too looks at him and Keem's like Keem's just standing there like he doesn't give a shit, right? And, he's not and afraid also, of anything. And, and also it's great. Yeah, and also it's great because Keem's obviously not the biggest dude height wise. Like so Keem's it, it just like it, they had a camera on top of the car that was filming Fousey, and once they got that footage, it just pans down. He's like you. you and it pans to Keem and you see Keem with his backwards hat like this, like <laughs> in the crowd, he does like one of his little like Oh, but the, the thing is, like, obviously, Keem fears nothing, right? So oh, he's yeah. sitting there. He's like, all right, please give me whatever it is you're giving me. Keem's eating it up. Yeah, yeah he lo- he's loving it. And then he's like, you, I fucking love you. Uh, yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. He's like, I fucking love you. This, that, like, uh, uh, positivity and all that. Anyway, so he's going on this uh, positivity. Uh, what, what's it? And, and just to be clear, I'm not poking fun at Fousey. I hope he gets whatever help he needs. Yeah. I think that's more than safe to be said. Yeah. I'm just speaking on whatever came out with the documentary that he obviously saw and yeah. approved and took part in for part three. Yes. Um, and that part three interview was, it was actually tough to watch at some points, man. It was, it was crazy. I just don't, I, I just, I just, um, obviously like he, I don't know what it is, but it happens to not just him. It's happened to a lot of YouTubers in the past where I don't know if it's the fame or the money that gets them like out of their elements and it makes them feel like super, I don't know. It's, it's not even well. Well, Banks actually starts part three with him saying like how he's spoken to him. You know, Banks Banks references his own past with, with the, the you know the, the kind of episode that he had a few years back, um, and says you know this is what a manic episode basically is. Is like you feel like you have a higher level of thinking. You feel like you have this this need to help everyone in the world and be a huge entity in the world. Yeah, yeah, and it's exact. Like you, you said you didn't watch it, but at one point, FouseyTube is like, I am going to, uh, on August 22nd or 23rd, uh, J. Cole is performing at the Staples Center. I will be out there at, at, to open with my speech I meant to give on July 15th at that venue. 
I will lock myself in a, this is what he's saying. I will lock myself in a room for the next 33 days and manifest that I will be there. And on that day, I will emerge, walk through the doors of the Staples Center and be put right up on that stage like, oh, here he comes. Here's Fousey for his big thing. Like, that's what he's saying. He said he's going to be the world's most successful motivational speaker, have a New York Times bestselling book, uh, be on a song with J. Cole, become the wealthiest man in the world, become a trillionaire. That's what he's saying. And he's, and he's saying all because he manifests it. And it's like, it's obvious that it's, it's some sort of episode that's going on. So Wait, he's saying that in the interview? In part three, it's literally just a 30 minute long interview with Keemstar where he's just, and Keem's like grilling with some tough questions. Like you knew this would fail. Uh, you knew this was going to fail. And, he, and he's just like, yada, yada. It was out of my hands. The bomb threat. Like that's what he says. Like Drake was never going to be there. Drake was in New York when that, yeah. that was happening. Um, and, and it's just, no, it was nuts. I'm, I'm all for putting it out there and I'm a firm believer in that. I do believe that, you know, putting it out there, it, it manifests even, <clears throat> I was just looking it up because Judith on June 29th of this, you're like, well, what are we in July? So almost a month ago, she tweeted out Hector has a gift when he says he will accomplish something. He will, but you know, I, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in, in, if you, if you put it out there, like you, you, you sort of owe it to yourself to, to commit it because you said it out loud. It's like declaring bankruptcy in a sense, you know, I declare bankrupt. All right. Apologies. They didn't go where I was wanting to. But anyway, but, but I, I believe it. But when you, when you, when you drink your own juice as much, I'm glad that I have the people around me that I do that don't take me like serious to like, to that point. Because when you don't have those those people that literally keep you grounded, and I'm not saying grounded like help you humble that, but you know when they call you your bullshit bullshit, it helps. And when you surround yourself with yes men, and I'm not saying that, that that that's happening, but when you surround yourself with yes people, and and people that are just there to literally like ride your coattails to where the fuck you know you're going, that's like the number one mistake that anybody can do. One thing that I pride myself in doing is I never, ever, 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 unless I was joking or unless there was something serious, I never called any myself anyone's boss. Like we're literally everybody just working toward, towards a common goal. And that sort of relationship helps because, one, you're not putting yourself on this fucking pedestal that makes you look that, like mentally. If you put that up there, you're mentally going to be like, oh, I'm better than them you know, because it's, it's my job to be fucking better than them. I got to lead. When you do that, that's when you get there. So I think that I think that that's what's happening. And I don't know. I'm hypoth hypothetically. You know, not, no, no facts here. But I think that he surrounded himself with so many people that were just like just drinking his juice and ultimately ended up in drinking his own. And to have that sort of level, that level of confidence. Awesome. You know, I'm, I'm all for it. You know, love yourself, period. But man, you got to fucking call you calm your nerves. Think it. Yeah. Like, how does he have no one around him like checking him? Like if I was going on some shit like that, like y'all would be on my ass. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, he he, he admits. He, <laughs> what have I ever done anything like that? He admits in the in the interview that like his dad literally flew, I think, from New Jersey to California and like went to him. And was like, was he, like what? I think his first name's Yusuf. He's like, what? What? What are you like? What is happening? And he like was like, you just don't see like I see, like like I see, yeah. and and yada yada all this stuff, bro. It was it was crazy. I'm just, if I ever get to something like that, guys, just don't shut, fucking worry. Just shut down my channel or something. No, oh, 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 beating your ass. <laughs> hey, but Hector, at first, he's getting the, he's getting the documentary footage started. <laughs> yeah. Well, duh. I'll run the 30 minute an episode, six mid rolls, six mid -rolls. upload it near Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth, the fourth quarter, fourth quarter. golden hour. Uh, uh, yeah. Sponsor. I, I don't know. I, I, again, he's got a, a drink. He's turning a, a drink around. Every time the camera goes to Hector, he's sipping a Sprite or something. <laughs> I'd love it. The squirt. Or, squirt. or chata. Oh, the hex chata. Dudes, we still haven't gone to that Mexican place that has the best horchata I've had in ever, ever in my life. Ever, period. Simbaro, I'm down for food after we should, this. Yeah, we should go right after this. All right, I'm nope, with they've it. Got, they've got stuff to film. i got to be somewhere at 2.30. <sighs> oh, wait, you guys are going to be full. Uh, yeah, you guys. Will be, you guys I'm not be. eating none of that. Like, what do I have to hide? Yeah, I'll answer. That's any what question. I thought. There you go. All right, we'll love to see it, Hector. Hopefully. You and I can grab a bite. Yeah, let's. Yeah. No, we you know we're, we're definitely gonna go with you guys. Period. Um, anyway, just so so to wrap up that that that's the small conversation. It's like if you are 
in a YouTube in a famous YouTuber's life, or if you're a YouTuber, don't drink your juice. And if you're surrounding yourself with people that have never corrected you or have never had the balls to say, "Hey, man, you're going a little bit over over the top here," or any of that, you know, reconsider who it is and have a frank conversation and ask, "Hey, man, did you think this was a good idea? And are you just telling me because you think I know better, and then you think that?" Because I've gotten to this level of success that anything that I do from here on out is going to continue to go that way. If, you know, have that conversation. Fucking yeah. don't doubt yourself to the point that it makes you self-conscious. But, you know, hold yourself accountable for some of the realities that may not be. He just pulled up a picture of my new, hair, my new, my new haircut face. Let me see. Bro, it's just, that's just me. Dude, I love new haircuts. <laughs> Really? There's no better feeling than a new haircut. Oh, like it gives you, it gives you little auto aim on games. Like you just feel better the whole day. Like everyone says how good you look. Like right now, I'm I'm low key stunting. Twitch Prime subs are gonna be up. I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. All right. Well, let's yeah. uh, let's move on to the part of the podcast where people ask questions. Ooh, pardon me. All right, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. I'm going to pick two questions out of these. Okay. Uh, the first one is... That good. Jesus. The first one is from... Um, uh, you sound like me reading donations. I just... Uh, <laughs> well, the thing is... All right. So, Hibby Dibby. Hibby Dibby. Hibby Dibby. Okay. Uh, in the many years that Optic has been around, there have been multiple, multiple people who have come and gone. My question is, who of all the people that have been or are still in Optic has the best shoe game slash outfit style? All right, so that's Cost me. Davis off the hit list. That's, well, I'm definitely number one. So we, who should be number well, two? Well, they said best, not like most unique yeah. or weirdest. weirdest. Weird. I'm just looking to see who's. Oh, oh, those are cute. Did you get them from Kmart? Those are free for you. <laughs> sets old. <laughs> what? <laughs> he literally has <laughs> those sets old pair. Are those sets? Are those my old pair that Seth gave me? That I well, the Seth didn't give me. I kind of took him when he left, and and I took his TV too. It was, wow. And it's bad. It is bad. <laughs> Without Seth, it's the best. Without Seth, being I mean, that's what happens when he just leaves. Honestly, I don't think anyone yeah. in optic is that good of dressers. Yeah, I think you're right. There's really not anybody. Speak for your like, fucking Noah, self. Like, okay, I have everything for any occasion. Okay, think about the many custom suits that I have with written monograms on the inside, the perfect but pocket I'm saying square. Just like day by day. So we're not doubting your bank account. We're just doubting your no fashion sense. My, my fashion sense. Is, I'm saying is impeccable. day by day, like swag. Impeccable. Well, no one cares. I'm not saying I might even a. No, I just want to see. What you let's have. put it. Oh, let's okay. put it. All right, here's the test. In high school. Who do you think had the best? Because in high school is when you really cared about I did how not you look. But in high school, yeah, like when I look back at those, I'm like, I, I wore cargo like shorts. No one school. had swag. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent people did. I don't but know what school people you fucking did. went to. Okay, well no. you didn't for sure. How? Didn't. Prove it. I kind of did. I can't. They didn't make uh, cameras back then. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All I'm saying is I was only paintings, <laughs> 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 chisels like. <laughs> <laughs> they were painting the Jordan logo. Just <laughs> these are the Jordan 1930s. 37s. <laughs> That's not funny. All right, so let me ask this. All right, so pick one. I think Zai. Zai is the best swag. That's just because he's a handsome European guy. I, <laughs> I haven't looked down past his neck, so I have no idea what he's what he's wearing. But he's got the best swag for sure. Um, man, seriously, like none, none of us. We all. Uh, Sheila, maybe. Nick answers none. None. <laughs> no one. No props. I would say it's a tie between Seth and Nick. What? what? I mean Seth, Seth. Seth and Seth and Hitch. I would put Seth and Hitch in the same style. It, you're, he's trolling. No, I am yeah, not. Yeah, you've got to be trolling. You just put, put Seth me. in best dressed. Don't put me in, in Seth. best dressed too. You guys dress exactly alike. No. no. Sprat. Stop. Sprat what? Dude. Even Sprat, no. You, I just no. saw one good picture of Sprat Bose, on the screen. No. Like, he looks good. Nick, no. Nobody in the scuff house. Let's get yeah. that out of the way. Okay, so no, no, when I be. try low key, I flex on people. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. Sure, sure same. same. Everyone. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> we just so got. None of us. We wait, wait, wait. So, so shoe Flizz. games. 
Old or new. Old or new optic member Fwiz. Yeah, Fwiz what? Best dressed. Well, no, but that, that's Fwiz post-optic best dressed. It's kind of like Nade Shot. Anyone. What? Well, maybe you just what? have to be out of optic to then get a good fashion sense. Because Nade Shot now dresses better. And, you know... <laughs> Uh, imagine, yo, uh, imagine well, shoe game, shoe game, shoe game, shoe game, like shoe game is you. hundred percent. I've always had the best shoes, yeah. even in high school. Shoe game is you. Well, just because you have the most of them. And that's not true. Uh, uh, you, I've yes, the, it uh, is. No, it's not because I have variety. You have the most. I have variety. You have the most. You have Jordan. the most shoes out of anybody probably in the world. So what you're saying is that likely optic. Okay, right, let's go. All right. So the second <laughs> second one. Uh, the, the second and the last one, and this is where, where we're going to end it, um, is in your personal lives and or this is by Ernie Castro in your personal lives and professional careers. What would you say are you the most proud of? Jesus. Jesus. Wait, what? Not no. professional careers? No, in your professional careers. Oh. You want me to start? I mean, if, if, if anyone's proud of anything, oh, uh, my dad's, baby. I would say, I mean, obviously winning 09 Nats was cool, but I'd say my proudest moment would probably be going from like Halo ain't, wasn't the biggest esport, or and I wasn't the most popular Halo player, but to go from being on like I was on uh Noble and Halo and then going from Noble to Optic and building like sort of a fan base and uh being recognized out when I'm just out and about for one time a month. Uh it's probably my proudest, I guess. So building a brand. Yeah, for just yourself. building yeah, building a little sum sum. Uh, mine was probably like season three, season two of Vision, one of those. Basically just, you know, tweaking Vision to the point where, uh, you know, where I was like pretty happy with it every time it, it came out, um, <clears throat> for the most part. And, uh, you know, the, the quality, if you look at season one, like it just looked like vlogs really. And then once we got to season three, it kind of like, like, you know, found its you know it's it's course and uh kind of had like a great like a, a theme to it you know every week and uh it's probably my you know my proudest accomplishments are those those two those two seasons i think it was like a year that year of of vision was uh you know something important i guess you made vision yeah that was roger um <laughs> uh, um, I think my proudest would probably just be that I I've never never said no to taking a you know going for a, a taking a leap to what I think would be my next move to further my career. So whether that was in school, like going from just a member of my fraternity chapter to be pre to be president, even though I was nervous and you know it was outside my comfort zone, I did it and it really helped me you know improve as a person. Moving from there to then the CWL moving cross country, like leaving school mid senior year, like didn't know what that was going to be. Then moving back to New York um, and then taking the leap to optic. Every single one has furthered my career and, and bettered me. And if I didn't take, if I didn't take those and I would probably just be uh, a PA on a show set somewhere. Sad. Personal assistant. Yeah. I'd be getting people coffee. A gopher. Yeah. Mine is Beating Nate shot on land at the Eagle Virginia Beach Call of Duty land. In your face. Are you shot. undefeated against him? I am. I'm one and all against him. Yeah. In Call of Duty land. So that means that if any list comes out of like top ten historical Call of Duty players and they have Nate shot above you, it's just basically false. Lie, it's a lie. It's a lie. Period. Um so yeah. Anyway, one last thought before we, we go um the podcast went live last last uh, last week, or actually yesterday. You have six days to prepare for the challenge that I that I post to you, where if you upload a video to your channel every single day in the month of August, you get a free. I'm buying you a a uh, a an electric bicycle, and yeah. then I challenge Bose as well. What if I just buy my own? 
Can I? Why, why, why not get an offer? Because yeah, you already do that. But so and you could buy a uh, hundred. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so so I, I posted it on Twitter. I don't know if you saw it, but then the the people that make the Super Seventy Three yeah, I saw my mentions. Vol- so nice. Volunteered. You're welcome. Uh, volunteered to throw in a third one in there. So oh, you, yeah, you have the, you have the chance. You and both have the chance to get a free one. I might have to do it just for someone else to get one. Can't let down the fans. You know, Jack. Jesus, the whole thing was caught on camera. What? Uh, whatever. You'll. I made the biggest mistake yesterday. I allowed. Uh, I didn't allow her. I asked Jude to to give it a you know to give it to give it a, a oh, shot, geez. and she did. And, and she, now she's in love. Yeah, she's in love. She's like, I want one, and I already have one on the oh, way. Oh, I thought you were about to say she fell or something. Oh no! Oh my God! Can you imagine? Uh, so, so I already had one in the way because after the first week of writing by myself, I was like, I can't do it. I need I need a you know a, a bike partner. Uh, so I bought one, and I have one in the way, and I was gonna use that to, you know, let people borrow it, and we can go on cruises. But now Jew's gonna claim over it. Can you ride that on the sidewalk? You can ride them on the sidewalk. You can ride them through. You can ride them off road. The tires are so thick that you can ride ride them off road. What's your code? I don't have a code. Should I have one? Uh, see, this one, and, and this is this is what I gets me mad a lot too. Okay, I buy, I buy, I bought, I bought in. I'm a consumer that gets easily convinced to make a purchase that n- n- don't necessarily need. When Casey started promoting the the two wheel thing, what are they called? The, the hoverboards. Yeah. I bought one. When he started writing the booster board, I bought one. Three, <laughs> three. No. Two. No. Oh yeah. Maybe now two. now now I bought yeah yeah. The first one was was given to us by them by booster oh, board. Okay. Um, where where are they? It doesn't matter. I get mad because Casey, like, I don't know if he does or doesn't get a cut, but he better be getting a fucking cut of something. Yeah. Because, like, I, oh, think, I honestly think, well, he might be get a cut now, but he definitely started it just because he liked it. Yeah. Which is crazy. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's not it's not crazy to say like he bought one because he liked it, but yeah. he bought a booster board, he rode it everywhere, and he made sure everyone knew it was a booster board. That was the first item that I ever spoke to you about. W- w- that was when the hoverboard started to get popular. Yeah. We were at World of Beer, and I sl- I had like I think nine thousand followers on Twitter, and heck, th- you guys were talking about them, and you're like, oh yeah, I just got sent one, or I'm getting one, or yada yada. yada. And I was like, oh, I want one. And then I was still in college, you know. I was like, dang, and no, I really do want one. And you're like, bro, just tweet about it. Someone will send you one. Like the company will send you one. I'm like, you're like, all you need is like fifty thousand followers. Like you got that easy. I was like. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, what I'm, what I'm saying is that like, and people that say, "Oh, you only bought it because case," I'm like, ride one and and see how much fun you have. Yeah. Okay, because it is fun. Is I don't buy it just because somebody else is right. Like I have fun riding it. I bought that hoverboard. I got one. Ro- rode it. Brought it to like my, one of my fraternity brothers' houses. Had like five of them ride it. Next thing you know, three weeks pass and four of them bought one because yeah. they literally rode it once and they're like, "This is incredible." It is fun. Uh, anyway. But I, I get mad when people, and I'm talking about all creators across like the internet. Like I bought, I bought the, I bought the 73 because Jesse Wellens had that one that he gifted Post Malone. Post Malone, and I was like, oh my god, that seems like super fun. Anything that that puts you in motion and you don't have to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's my big thing. That is my big like, thing. Fucking put it in my garage right fucking now. Uh, that anyway, big that's gonna do it for this podcast. Unless you guys have any closing comments. Awesome. Uh, We'll see you guys on the next one. (laughs) Hitch, hit him with the music.